this was my second Pedal Hounds event. The first one that I did in Aston Hill was so good. I had such a good time that I really wanted to do another one. So I signed up for the Penshurst Pedal Hounds event and this is more of a bike park and what they do at Pedal Hounds is they make new tracks for every single enduro race that you do and you can go and do a track walk beforehand. All of these tracks are brand new so no one's ridden them before so you get a chance to walk it, understand the terrain, the lines that you might take just to give you a good understanding of how it's going to run. So you do all of them blind which I really really like. So did a track walk, checked out the course, did all five of them and then headed back to the car, gathered my thoughts and uh, then set off to get started. All right, just on the track walk, um, not gonna lie, I'm a bit scared actually because uh, it's a bit more technical than what I'm used to, especially the first couple of stages. There's a couple of big um, kind of jumps at the beginning. And um, I'm not massively experienced with that kind of stuff, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes. It's quite wet still. It poured it down with rain all day yesterday. It was horrible. Today is lovely, but it's still quite greasy and wet and um, it's quite clayy out there. So I don't know, man, I'm a bit scared to be honest with you, but oh well, I'm just gonna see how it goes and um, try and clear those first couple of jumps. Try and have a good time. I'm sure after I've done the first couple of runs, I'll feel way more comfortable, but just kind of scoping it out. Um, yeah, it's a bit more than what I usually do on my bike. So, see how it goes. Have a good one. Will do mate, see you later, cheers. So after I'd done that track walk, I was pretty scared of hitting that first jump. And just as it had it, the first course that I was doing was the one with the big jump at the front. When I say big jump, it's a big jump for me because I don't normally do kind of jumps like that and uh, it had quite a fast run up to it and you needed to get the right amount of speed so as I was pedaling up here I was just kind of thinking about how I was going to approach it and what I was going to do and the speed that I would need to be taking uh, and just trying to gather my thoughts really because uh, I really wanted to do it but I was a bit apprehensive of hitting that one first but it kind of worked out well that I had to do that one first in the race so it was just cleared and off my mind so as I was pedaling up here just about to start the race just here you can see this guy go just in front of me he takes off quite quite quickly and uh, it gave me a good idea of how much speed I would need to hit it with. Cheers mate. Let's give it a go. Good actually. I'm not gonna lie. It felt really nice. I was shitting myself going up there. Whoa! <laughs> this feels good though. Oh. Difficult that one. Oh, you alright, mate? First stage done, the bike handled it beautifully and um, just actually felt pretty good. As soon as you hit that takeoff and you're in the air, just felt really controlled. But I'm not gonna lie, I was really worried going up to that. I almost chickened out because I just thought, nah, it's above my pay grade, but you've got to give it a go at some point, haven't you? I'm actually quite glad it was done first because now it's done and felt really comfortable and um, now I can just concentrate on the other stages, so gonna go and hit those just had a quick drink Whenever you're ready. cheers this was stage two just here really enjoyed this one quite fast a little bit flowy little jump coming up here a little bit of a kind of rooty steep section just there could have done with my suspension being firmed up a little bit around here because it was just a bit wallowy and a bit soggy compared to what I'd have liked but quite a short course this one and uh, I think this was my best run of the day
moving on to stage four, this was a little bit more pedally than the last few stages, but what I really struggle with is these, these real tight switchbacks. I can't get enough speed going around there, so I'm definitely gonna need to be practicing those over the winter and the berms. I just don't carry enough corner speed. That's my real big weakness at the moment. So I think if I can nail some of those, I can get a few more seconds faster each course that I do because that was where I noticed I was losing a lot of speed. Stage five, what you're probably noticing is each stage is really, really short. You only are riding for about 15 to 16 minutes for the whole day. So you're not covering a lot of distance at all. You're just going all out for each lap. I mean, similar to most enduros, but what I like about this is you're not having to ride for 10 to 15 minute laps. They're really, really short. So you can just give it your all out kind of best and see how quick you are, which is a great format. <laughs> difficult to work out how much speed you can put down. It's not much visibility on this one. It's fairly blind compared to some of the others. Go, 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 go. Okay. Right. Watch a tree, watch a tree. Straight on. And finally stage three. This was probably my weakest stage throughout the enduro. The quicker guys were doing it around 10 seconds a lap faster than me. So I really, really struggled with these corners and taking them at a decent enough speed. And I think my line choice wasn't great. There was a particular part just around here that I was trying to um, kind of cut the corner a little bit to save a little bit of time where I thought that might work, but it didn't really. Here you go, just this corner, just there. So I wasn't carrying enough corner speed in any of the corners really. So I definitely know what I need to focus on for next year. All right, brilliant, brilliant. What a brilliant day. Another brilliant day uh, with Pedal Hounds. Um, came last again, but um, I was only eight seconds off the uh, place of uh, the person that finished sixth. In the last race, I was about a minute or maybe even two minutes off the pace. So I felt that I've massively improved my technique um, since the last race. So if I can carry on carry on practicing carry on um, doing some of this racing i really do think that i'll be able to get within the uh certainly um up 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 in the rankings a little bit we've uh, we've had another good day luckily with the weather again we've had a great day as far as the e-bikes are concerned we've had our a bumper entry today we had 30 30 e-bikes entered I think uh, some of it's helped with the last video you did. It's oh, um, introduced some new guys and talking to them, they've had a, a lovely day today and really enjoyed it. So yeah, it's really going from strength to strength. Being an e-biker myself, it's, it's, you know, it's what I want to do is really push the sport and get it up and running. So hopefully eventually we'll be having e-bike only events. So this time last year, this race in October last year 
we had 15 entries so we've doubled that in a year. And what's the plans for next year because uh, I know a few people have been asking about is it is it all going ahead next year? Yeah yeah it? definitely yeah. I've got a new an, uh, one new venue a venue that's really good all-weather venue and the parkings good hard parking so that's what you need for February yeah so we will be starting at the end of February and then we'll be doing uh, probably seven events next year okay. you've got loads of sponsors I see so yeah, yeah, recognize quite a few yeah, guys yeah, there. There you yeah. go. yeah we got a lot You're of good uh, really good sponsors that give us spot prizes yeah. and also Berkshire Cycle Company Chris there is actually giving us an e-bike that's uh, going to be given away to um, a lucky winner and everybody that's ridden in pedal hounds this year has entered a race goes in that draw so I think I've got about 1600 names oh, going really? in. Oh yeah, yeah that's going to be announced within the next four or five weeks when Chris has got some stock of bikes in because I know that uh, the new specialised are going fast. But, it's, um, yeah, it's hard to get hold of at the moment. So that's going to be a, a lovely prize for someone. Maybe it'll be someone that will just get their first e-bike experience be and be well it? into it. Yeah, be incredible. But now we've got some brilliant sponsors and most of them are going to stay with us, I think, next year. And, yeah. Uh, and, and Red Bull are here. Again yeah, today. Red Bull have been here. Um, I think they're pretty well confirmed for next year as yeah. well, which is good. Brings a bit of kudos to the to the race series and also and a couple of free drinks as well. yeah yeah everyone all the drinks get drunk so <laughs> everybody's happy yeah perfect yeah perfect thank well, you well thank you much. very much mate i will definitely come i'm going to do the whole season next thank year thank you very so, much um, and um hopefully you'll be dragging a, a few more along yeah totally totally yeah. loads of people are interested yeah, so yeah brilliant definitely brilliant. cheers thank mate. you very much thanks so thank much you. take care now the guy that um i think the guy that won the whole thing was on an e-bike he was in my class he did it in in a ridiculous time it's like 13 and 13 minutes and 44 seconds and mine was 16 minutes and 40 something like that so he um absolutely ripped it it was on a Kinevo, which is brilliant and i believe he he won he was top for the whole enduro as well not just his class but the entire thing so no, another another really good day. Um, come along, come and do one of these. They're brilliant fun. They are um, really friendly. Beautiful day. Beautiful weather again. So so lucky, and it's just good fun. Come come last. I don't care. I just had a, another great day and um, learned a bit more about my skill. Learned a bit more about the bike. Hopefully, I've improved a little bit and um, can take that to all my local trails and. When I'm ripping up those trails, can kind of learn from my experience here. So um, yeah, it was brilliant. Um, definitely going to do some more next year because uh, there's a whole uh, another year that is going to be announced soon and um, look forward to it but for now cheers hope you enjoyed it my second ever competitive race um, if you do like it let me know give me a thumbs up it helps me understand what videos people do like and what people don't and um, if you did enjoy it consider subscribing because I bring uh, electric mountain bike stuff all the time every week so yeah cool on that note, um, I will chat to you soon. Peace out, all the best, bye.